What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So it's July right now, seven months after I purchased the car in January and I finally got my registration. So you know what that means. I can finally tint my car. I didn't want to tint it before I have registration just because I didn't want to risk getting pulled over and impounded because I can get impounded for driving with no registration. And that's why I didn't want to like step on no cops toes until I I'm legal to drive because I don't want to get towed. I, I can care less about a ticket. But I don't want to get towed because if they break something and it's a headache to get it out of the, the impound. So today we have a lot going on. We're also going to take this car. We finished trapping it. So we will be taking it to the wash, washing it, then coming back to ceramic coat it. We have to wash it really good because if you ceramic coat anything and there is any dirt under it, it will be there forever because it's basically a clear coat layer on top of the wrap or the paint or whatever it is you're doing ceramic coat to. So you want to make sure it's pretty clean. So we're going to wash this car. We have to first move all these cars, take this car to the car wash, then go drop off the vet while we're ceramic coating this car so the vet could be done. Then after later, hopefully if you have time, we're going to take Martin's car. He dropped off his car today. We're wrapping it neon green. But for now, let's move all these cars and get today's video going. Here's the car after the car wash. It looks so clean right now. It's so nice. And I put my logo right here. It looks super clean, but now we have to ceramic coat it. That's why I changed, changed my pants and my shoes because I don't want my pants to get dirty from because I'm gonna be on my knees. What? Oh, wait, pause. <laughs> I did not just say that. I meant like, because <laughs> I'm gonna be like going under the car and I don't wanna get my pants stains. That's why I changed, I put on oh, my work pants instead of my going out pants. So I changed my, <laughs> so I'm gonna put a time lapse. Actually, let me show you guys, before I put a time lapse, let me show you guys how to ceramic coat a car. So first we're gonna get like some alcohol, like usually isopropel 45, I mean 75 or above should be fine. I already gave it a car wash. Usually I would have to clay bar it if it was like paint, but this is fresh wrap. Like I just wrapped this, I just finished wrapping it yesterday. So the wrap has no dirt on it. And I just took it to a car wash anyway. So it's like it's perfect. I don't need a clay bar. I don't need to do any paint correction. I don't need to do anything. So I'm just wipe down a small section. Just to, let's work from here to right here. You have to get an application squeegee like this one. And that's the fuse, the vivid vinyl wrap ceramic coat. Oh, what the hell? The cap came out with it. It's not supposed to happen. So he put a couple of drops, then go back and forth. After you finish with one section, you can start moving on to another section. Now I'm gonna do that section right here. Or there has to be a better way. I think what I'm gonna do is go find like an empty eye drop container or something and pour it in there because this is not gonna work. So I figured it out. This one, it, it came broken, so I can't do nothing about it. So I got this, like an eye drop, I emptied it out, and then I got the syringe to suck out like, cause first I tried to like pour it like this, and I spilled everywhere. It got on my arm and it's so annoying because like ceramic is like super thick. I can literally still feel it on my arm, but it will wash off. So I got a syringe and like I took it out of here, put it in here. 
this should work pretty fine. Let me try again. So, so, yeah, see now I can like put drops as much as I want. That's how you do it. I'm not gonna bore you guys by doing the, by showing you guys how to do the whole car. It's gonna take like hours, maybe two days. It might be take two days because he wants two coats. So I have to do the first coat, wait for it to dry before I do the second coat. So I'm gonna do the first coat, maybe get lunch or yeah, eat. After I do the first coat, I'm gonna go eat, come back and check it. If it's dry enough, so I can do the second coat. I'm gonna start doing that. If not, then I'm gonna do the second coat tomorrow. But hopefully, but other than that, this car is basically done. Like, look it out. It's so shiny. I don't know if the camera can tell the difference, but you can literally see the difference between the ceramic coated part and the not ceramic coated part. What's up, you guys? It's the next day. The customer for the Z did not pick it up yesterday, so we did not go take the pictures for it yet. But right now, I'm washing the Mustang, the orange Mustang that you guys saw. I'm washing it right now because I like to give it a quick wash because it makes it easier when I'm clay barring and cleaning the car before I wrap it. So I'm gonna wash it. We're gonna go take pictures of this car. Give you guys a little quick montage. Then we're gonna take the Z, take pictures of the Z because I haven't done that yet. Give you guys a quick montage of that. Then we're gonna go home and we're gonna start wrapping this car. the bumper check the other bumper because it's a gt500 bumper but before i wrapped it i wanted to make sure it's the same year because this is a 2018 and if it's a 2017 gt500 bumper it will not fit on this car but i put it on to make sure that he didn't, didn't buy the wrong bumper just to be sure because i don't want to wrap it and then have to deal with that later so it did fit good so that's a plus then i loosened up the side skirt from right here i don't need to take off the side skirt because once you loosen this up right here i can just tuck in all right in there so there's no need for me to remove the whole side skirt Remove the bumper already, and I'm gonna wrap both fenders right now. So I'm gonna prep them, clay bar, wrap, everything. Same as you, I, 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 can be the same as dude Lame nigga wanna go do dumb shit 